Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to substitute the row names of a data frame by the values in a vector using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data object, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame consists of five rows and three columns. And you can also see that the row names of our data frame rows are ranging from one to five. Now let's assume that we want to replace these row names with the values that are stored in a vector. For this, we also need to create an example vector that we can assign as row names to our data frame. And this is what we are doing in line six of the code. So in this line of code, I'm creating a new vector object, which is called new names. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this new vector object to the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our new names vector contains the values 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Please note that it's important that this vector has the same length as the number of rows of our data frames. So in this case, our vector has a length of five. Now, if we want to assign these values stored in the vector as new row names to our data frame, then we can apply the row names function, as you can see in line nine of the code. And in this line of code, I'm applying the row names function to our data frame. And then I'm assigning to this the new names vector that we have created before. So if you run line nine of the code, our data frame is updated. And we can see that by clicking on the data object at the top right once again, so if you click on this data object, you can see that our data frame now contains the row names 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So in this first example, I have explained how to assign the values stored in a vector object as row names to a data frame. However, it is also possible to assign the values that are stored in a column of our data frame as row names to the data frame. And this is what I want to show you in the second example of this tutorial. And we can do that as you can see in line 11 of the code. And as you can see in the beginning of this line, we are using exactly the same as in the previous example. So we are applying the row names function to our data frame, but then we are assigning to this the values that are stored in the column X2. So if you run line 11 of the code, our data frame is updated again. So if you click on our data frame, you can see that now the row names of our data frame are equal to the values that are stored in the column X2. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to assign the values in a vector or in a data frame column to the row names of a data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this tutorial in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me thumbs up on the video or if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future in case I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.